I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. And I can't use one of the handy bikes. Picture that, Mr. Harrison. My uniform, skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. Excuse me if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day. In the scene you're about to watch, the United States is still in the throes of segregation when we see Katherine Johnson, played here by Taraji P. Henson, one of the first Black American scientists to work for NASA, confronted by her boss. Katherine Johnson was responsible for calculating trajectories, launch windows, and emergency return paths for Project Mercury, including flights for Alan Shepard, the first American in space, and John Glenn, the first American in orbit, and many more. Her calculations were also essential to the beginning of the space shuttle program, and she worked on plans for missions to Mars. Her boss, Al Harrison, played here by Kevin Costner, is a middle-aged white male determined to drive his team hard to beat the Russians in the space race. He notices Catherine is not at her desk for large windows of time and becomes very upset. And that's where we pick up this scene. Ruth. Yes, I need sir. a cape on the line. Shepard's trajectories need to be updated. Wow. Where is she? hell have you been? Everywhere I look, you're not where I need you to be. It's not my imagination. Now, where the hell do you go every day? To the bathroom, sir. To the bathroom. To the damn bathroom. For 40 minutes a day? What are you doing there? You're T-minus zero here. I put a lot of faith in you. There's no bathroom for me here. What do you mean there's no bathroom for you there here? There is no bathroom. There are no colored bathrooms in this building or any building outside the West Campus, which is half a mile away. Did you know that? I have to walk to Timbuktu just to relieve myself. And I can't use one of the handy bikes. Picture that, Mr. Harrison. My uniform, skirt below my knees, my heels, and a simple string of pearls. Well, I don't own pearls. Lord knows you don't pay colors enough to afford pearls. And I work like a dog, day and night, living off a of coffee from a pot none of you want to touch. Excuse me if I have to go to the restroom a few times a day.
There you have it. No more colored restrooms. No more white restrooms. Just plain old toilets. Go wherever you damn well please. Preferably closer to your desk. Here at NASA, we all pee the same color. Many of the challenges faced by Katherine Johnson were, sadly, very common during segregation. Yet her boss was oblivious to the problems that she was struggling with. As a leader, you must recognize those you serve have challenges you may not realize. Having the resolve to drive a team to be better and achieve more is important, but you must also have empathy for those you serve. You must be willing to listen to them, put yourself in their shoes, or as I like to say, put yourself in their muddy boots. You see, too often we will say, put yourself in their shoes, and they just might tell you about a sunny day, the best times in their life, so those shoes might be sandals on a beach during vacation. Remember muddy boots. Put yourself in their muddy boots. What's it like in their most difficult times? How are you practicing empathy with your teams? How are you looking for problems that you might not be aware the team is facing? How are you being sure to practice empathy with your team and your organization?